Um, you're going to hate this. Okay. I think everybody's going to be really mad at me. This oh, is go. very controversial. All right. I think Frozen and Frozen 2. Get out of here. Is a, are horrible, both horrible movies. You and I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Frozen 1's better than Frozen 2. Frozen 2 was absolute dog shit. Queen's dead. Queen's dead? What do you mean Queen's dead? Main guy died. Main guy died? Yeah, yeah that you... that was Queen. He is Queen. <laughs> he queen. I went to a Queen. We both went to the same Queen concert. I know. It's insane. Before we met. Have we talked about that? We both went to the same Queen concert before we met. And, and we were in the same section. Yeah, we think we are in the we same think, section. I think you were just like right, either right up behind me or right below me. Which is crazy. Yeah, that's insane. Blah. Nah. Eh? Huh? Hmm? And you would have been 12? <laughs> How old were you then? No. I was married with kids and you were... How old were you? 13. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think I was like 30, 31, 32. Then I would have been 22. Crazy. So crazy. Did you go... Who'd you go with? Uh, I went with my ex-wife. Mm. Yep. You would have met. You could have, could have met. Oof. Well, Adam Lambert was great. He was so good. He was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. He did a great job. Yeah. I think he's going somewhere. I think he's going to be something one day. I think he's going to be something big. We got to watch him. He's mm-hmm. going to be the next one to watch. Yeah. Everybody listening. Um, Top 50 you, under 50. You heard, it, you heard it here first. Heard it here first first. You heard it here first first. <laughs> <laughs> watch him. Watch him. Watch Adam gonna, Lambert. He's, he's going to blow off. up one day. Put yeah. spy stocks in Adam Lambert. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Buy low. Buy them low right now. <laughs> um, welcome. Welcome to Do Talking with Sam and Rye, everybody. I'm Sam. She's Rye. Every and, time. Oh, hold on. Oh, and that's... Try, okay, oh, yeah. let's just try it again. Try again. Okay, well, uh, you say the first okay, one. Okay, ready? Welcome to Do Talking with Sam and Rye. I'm Sam. She's Rye. And that's Bobby behind the camera. Hey, guys! Shut up. Shut up, Bobby. <laughs> Fuck. God, Anyways. Yeah. Anyway. How are you? Um, I'm pretty good. Yeah. First thing in the morning. First, yeah, it's it's real early. Yeah. It's not real early. It's like eight thirty. It's early for us. It's early for us. <laughs> I mean, I the, I didn't even want to get rye for this episode, but you're like, we gotta record a pod, and I was like, I guess I'm, I guess I have smoke weed then. All right. Yeah. Yeah, eight thirty in the morning, guys. Yeah, I'm doing this for you. He's getting a little rye inside today. <laughs> <laughs> Try to make Rye a little Rye inside today. <laughs> um, best and worst part Ugh, of your day. I was just day. thinking about this. I was just <laughs> thinking about week. this. We need to start just doing worst parts. <laughs> Let's just do worst double, part of your double week. Double worst part. Double worst part. Worst part of my day and worst part of my week. All right. Um, uh. <laughs> are we doing worst part of day? No, let's do the week. Let's do best okay. and worst part week. Oh, I got to zoom out then. Uh, what happened this yeah, week? Yeah, I don't even remember what happened. I don't, barely remember this week. This week, um, well, mm, we came back from our road trip. Mm-hmm. We came back. We uh, hung out. <laughs> we hung out. That Yep. And um, uh, I did oh. <laughs> Ditto you, whatever you're about to say. Sure. We hung out a lot. You worked. My best and worst part, whatever Riley says. <laughs> you you worked a little bit. Yeah. Worst part um, of my week was probably work. Work was uh, not not as scrumptious as it was before. Yeah, you had a bit of a slow it was a rough week. week. A rough week. Yeah. Uh, a rough a week. A rough a week. You had a bit of a, a, a rough a week. How do you stay? It was a... No, nobody was ordering that uh, sweet, sweet bajou. 
How are you not going to sleep without your pasta vajur? You're, you're not, uh, you gotta eat your uh, gabagool. <laughs> <laughs> Or, order some order some food. That's what you eh? say when I go into restaurants. This is a gabagool. <laughs> I really want you to start saying smells oh, good. Oh yeah, that's the funniest part. <laughs> yeah, I really I really want to say it to Every somebody. time you deliver something, I want you to go, smells, smells good. Smells good. Smells <laughs> good. And then just, just leave. lean in and look at him. <laughs> well, see you later. <laughs> smells good. It smells good. All right, I guess I'm just gonna go eat my uh my sandwich <laughs> yeah. in my car. That's fine. That's fine. That's a I big guess order. Just have some reasons. It's a big order. It's a big order. It smells really good. It smells really good. You don't like leftovers, do you? I think that's funny. Every time I put food in the car, though, you always go, smells good. I know. Smells good. <laughs> it usually smells good. It does smell that's good. That's the well, problem. It's food. And I have to make the joke every time. I know. Because yeah. what else am I supposed to say? I know. How else can you say that joke? That joke's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. You can't change that it's joke. It's a perfect joke. It's a perfect joke. I've tried it many times, many ways, many different ways and words yeah that's the best one i don't know hopefully i don't i can't hear anything in my my earphones scouts literally just laying on top of all of our podcast equipment well if you can't hear anything i think we're good i'm sure it's fine I, it's, you don't, I don't have a door so there's no way to I lock her out <laughs> yeah i got rid of my door it's insane yeah well i needed a, <laughs> my kids needed a door yeah so now that's why I don't have a door. And why did your kids need a door? Because my spare bedroom didn't have a door. Yeah. Because my tenant's space needed a door. Because <laughs> uh, their door got wrecked by the last tenants. Yeah. And then I needed, I had guests coming over. And then so I moved my kid's door downstairs to the guest bedroom. Mm-hmm. And then my kids came back and I was like, well, they need a door. But yeah. then I had guests too. So, oh no, I didn't have guests that would have sounded better. I was too lazy to go downstairs yeah. to get the door. There it was. <laughs> there it is. And then so I grabbed my door and put it on my kids' door because they they would fit. There's yeah. only four door th- th- those. There's four doors in my house, and luckily one of those got broken, so I've been able to cycle. Yeah. I cycle my doors. Yeah. Well, it's your house. You do what you want. <laughs> I like how oh, I like how I don't have to I don't nothing impedes me getting out of my room. <laughs> okay. I like that I can always hear my laundry machine. That's a perk. It's a perk. That's a perk. You That's always you want to hear your laundry machine. Yep. And the dishwasher and everything else. That everything goes on else. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to hear what happens at the front of the house. Yeah. Outside. Maybe you want to hear, I don't know, scout tip tapping mm-hmm. through the house. Yep. I really want to keep kids, uh, not not to be able to keep kids out of my room or dogs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a it's an open house. Open house. I have an open room policy. Open room policy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say to my guests. Hey, open room policy. Just so you know. If you need anything, in the if you night, want to try out my bathroom, go for it. Come, come and come get right me. in. No problem. It might be. It might smell like poop. <laughs> Best part of your day. <laughs> um. Wait. The worst part of your day was worst part of your week was working. Working, correct? Ah, I gotta think. Can you go? Could you have something? Um, let me think here. I liked. You know what I liked? What did you like? I liked playing with your kids. Oh, shut up! Shut up! Fuck you! Oops! Shut up! That's adorable. Dropped it. You suck. When uh when you left to go get groceries and we stayed here and they were like oh. I just wish he would leave for like two hours. That's what they said? (laughs) I don't like this. I don't like this game anymore. (laughs) And then we made that whole big obstacle course. Yeah. And then they were like, they were like, oh, he's not gone for enough time. Like, let's just pretend we were so bored because we didn't have enough time. So we were (laughs) laying on the stairs. They were like, we were too bored. We didn't have time. We didn't have enough time to do anything. So we were just bored bored instead. We were like falling asleep basically because we were so bored. We sat on those stairs playing bored for way longer than we should have like you're like how do we act more bored <laughs> we just kept like, you... like you're just exhausted and like oh. yeah we just kept <laughs> acting bored we got poppy to act bored it was so funny <laughs> That's a fun little activity and then you weren't coming home so we're like okay let's go watch from upstairs and then we saw you come home and we're like get downstairs get downstairs and be bored act bored act bored hurry 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 <laughs> go be bored Duh, so bored so bored you weren't gone long enough i know that was cute yeah, so that was really fun. Yeah, I can't even remember that part of the week, but that sounds fun. I'll take that. That mm-hmm. was fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, worst part 
was um i was grumpy yesterday you were grumpy yeah I yeah you were real grumpy mm-hmm. i was tired and just emotional and grumpy so that was the worst part of my week yeah was, well you had no sleep i had no sleep i'm i'm creeping up on that monthly monthly time monthly time tax she, season she's creeping tax season <laughs> It's getting close. Yeah, it's getting close. I'm she getting hates tax out. season. Getting stressed out. She bleeds from her vagina every tax season. <laughs> I was going to say, it's a bloody, bloody tax season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that'd be the worst part of my week. Mm. I think my worst part was, oh man, we went to went to McDonald's Play Place with my kids. And yeah. we were having a great time. And then my oldest decided to have a full meltdown at yeah. the top of the at the top of the Play Place. And she refused. She actually, she was down. And then I said, okay, time to go. And then she like looked at me the side of her eye and then slowly walked to like the tunnel and then Mm -hmm. just started climbing. (laughs) And she wouldn't come out. And I had to fit my huge body up there to the top. It was like three stories high. And then I had to chase her around the the tube because it was a big circular loop. And I I played it pretty well, I think. Yeah, I caught her pretty quick. Her? Yeah, I forced her around and I just waited. What an yeah. idiot. Yeah. What an idiot. What an idiot. She came around my corner. <laughs> I was like, hey. And she screamed. And then I grabbed her. And then I had to like hold all of her limbs on while I tried to go down the the slide. Yeah. But it, it's not high enough for me to even sit up. <laughs> and so, And she's also like fighting me really hard and trying yeah. to smash me in the face. Mm-hmm. That sucked. Um, the funniest part about that was that there was an Asian, an Asian family, an Asian family like sitting in the corner, yeah. all like just eating, yeah, quietly, quietly. They didn't say anything. They never <laughs> made you eye guys contact. Screaming. I know. It was so funny. It was so funny. I felt and so then, bad. And then that other kid that was there with like the rat hair. The oh, she was hair. the cutest. Yeah, she was the sweetest. She kept sharing, and then she kept saying, D- "You didn't hear this," but she was trying to tell Paisley and Poppy. She was like. I'm going too, guys. Don't worry. Aww. I'm leaving too, so it doesn't matter. I'm Aww. I'm also leaving. Aww. And she kept trying to make them feel better, and Aww. they weren't listening to was her. Was Poppy having a hard time? I was too busy with Paisley. Um, no, no. she oh, I should she chilled out. Can't say their names. You can bleep them out. I bleep them out. Um, Bobby, bleep them out. I don't do that. God, what do we pay you for? God, literally. I guess my kids are getting kidnapped. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Bobby. It's your fault. Um, but yeah, she was being so sweet yeah. and, uh, they weren't really listening. And it was I know. Really funny. Every time they were like melt- melting down because I almost said melting down. Mel- every time every they, they was melting down. Every time they were melting down. They was over there me- just melting she down. She would go over to Poppy and she'd go, she'd just go, I gotta stop saying those names. Uh, she just hand him, the, she's like, you, you can have my balloon. It's yeah. fine. Have my so balloon. So sweet. The cutest. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she was great. Yeah, my kids were losing their minds. <laughs> Poppy was fine afterwards. She, she, uh, we got like her socks and shoes yeah. on, and then, she seemed like she was doing fine. Yeah, I was just dealing with the one that was trying to bash my face and yeah, yeah. Well, what can you do? Get what you pay for. Best part of my day, your week. <laughs> <in a> week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I think we are. Yeah, I enjoyed when you when, the other day when we were all hanging out with the yeah. kids and stuff. That was great. Yeah. Yeah. Or was the butt that I saw yesterday? <laughs> I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I saw a butt yesterday. I already saw two butts. They were two gross. We both dudes. saw three butts. We now. both saw three butts in the last like week or so. Yeah. While I've been driving around yeah. working. This and butt was a girl butt. You said first though. girl butt. High five there, Riles. First girl butt. Yeah, first girl butt. Bare bottoms. Bare bottoms. We got a bare bottom count. Yep. <laughs> She looked just as good as those other two gross dudes, <laughs> but it's still a lady. It's still we a lady. Got a lady. Counts. Yeah, and bare butt bingo. We're it we're uh, we're getting pretty good. Even getting if they look like line. a man, it still counts. <laughs> 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 um, do you have anything, or do you want me to? I got a few. You go. I got a few things here. Uh, do you? Okay. Question. Do you think? pedophiles are picky with which the kids they're gonna fuck <laughs> like ad- adults are picky right they got they got their types they got their- <laughs> so i'm just wondering like because i was thinking about this if they're just online searching for any kid the kid's like i'm 14 they're like oh great 
let's, send nudes. Let's let's do it. We'll see what you look like. Yeah, and then they don't send nudes because they're a kid, yeah. and then they just meet up, yeah. and turns out they're a fat kid. You got catfished by a kid. Yeah, yeah. It's a fat kid. Yeah, you got kitten fished. But it's like I got kitten fished again. Yeah. <laughs> do you do you think they still like is it a kid's a kid? I think your first few kids, you you go. I'm not stooping down to those levels. You think so? And then once you realize how hard that is, you go, I'm going to open up. I'm going to open. It's like when you're going, when you first go on Tinder, when you go, okay, this is the Ferrari I'm looking for. Mm. And then, then they're like, there's no, there's not even, not even people to look at. And then you're like, all right, let's start widening that net. (laughs) Right. Right. Um, I had a question. I forgot. If you were a pedophile, <laughs> um, what do you think? Do you think that they that they have types? I don't know because I was probably better if you had a type. I was just thinking about like, like it's so it's probably so hard to entrap a kid these days. Oh my god, yeah, it's got to be kind of difficult. It was hard before the internet was really taken off. Yeah, yeah, it was still hard. Yeah, for you. Yeah, for me. Well, I was a kid. <laughs> I was a kid back then. Oh. I'm pretty sure I was talking to a guy. Uh, what? Yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure I was talking. To, like now that I've grown up, I was like, I bet that was a guy, because it was it was like I I think it was ICQ. They let you do like a random search. Do you know what ICQ was? No, no idea. ICQ was like MSN before IC before that. Okay. So there was like AOL chat. There was ICQ chat, and then there was MSN chat after. Okay. You could do like a broad search. And you could say ages, which is insane because I think I could actually be like, well, I'm 12. So I, I would like to look for people who are under 13, you know? Whoa. And I remember talking to this one girl and unsolicited, she was sending me pictures. Whoa. Yeah. And they looked like now that I, now that I'm a grown up and I look at those pictures, I go, there's no way she owned a nightie. What do you mean? She sent pictures of her in a nighty. And there's no way... At least she was like 10, 11, 12, like however old I was. Why wouldn't she be in a nighty? Wait, I you don't got know. kid pictures? Yeah, like this kid. Like she was my age. But like, was she but just it looked in like, a nighty or what? But it was back before like cell phones and stuff. So it's not like it was like a cell... It's not, it wasn't a selfie. It was a picture of a girl. Like... Like full face and everything. Full face, yeah. And she's just in a nighty. Yeah. There's no weird stuff happening, or there was. Well, she was stuff. like, no, no, no weird stuff happening, but she was like, it was a picture. Okay, explain. You like know, she explain. was like posing for the picture. Oh, but there was no like nipple or no or vag. Or no, anything. there wasn't that. No. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that was a guy. You think that was a guy taking a picture? Like off the internet, or do you think he was taking a picture of someone he knew? I have no idea. All I knew is I was for sure his type. <laughs> Did you send him pictures? No, I didn't send him. Oh. I don't know how. Oh gosh, that's <laughs> I also so didn't funny. Watch you. Creepy. Yeah, real creepy. That's creepy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think, like, they gotta have types. I think it'd be. Oh, I think it'd be really funny. I was thinking about this too. I think it'd be funny if the kid got there and they were like chubby or whatever <laughs> yeah and then they were like hey uh i just came to give you these condoms and make sure that you were doing everything safe you know how yeah. they do that yeah in, yeah in i was just show. checking on her i was just I was checking, just on, checking on her make yeah. sure she was safe make sure she was safe and then he's actually doing that because yeah. he's just not attracted why did to you her <laughs> bring an eight why did you bring 24 pack of beer and condoms here i was just giving them to her i didn't know i didn't want her out. to get alcohol from somewhere she didn't know yeah <laughs> and condoms from somewhere she didn't know. And he's just genuinely not attracted to her. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine he gets Chris Hansen. Yeah. For like someone he's like, I, I was leaving. Trust me, I was leaving. Ah, oh, I was doing so that. What were you funny. doing here? Oh, I had plans. But I'm leaving right now. But I don't know. Seems <laughs> Chris like Hansen's kid's like, kid. hey, I see that you uh, were trying to get out of here as soon as you felt like something was off. And I'm no, I just saw the kid. I saw the kid and I was like, like, boof. Oof. 
Yeah. Not for me. I, in fact, I'm so glad you're here, Chris Hansen. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, I did not want to have to fuck problem, that kid. I have a problem, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to have to fuck that kid. <laughs> she wanted to fuck me, Chris. Chris Hansen, kitten fished. <laughs> Chris, she wanted to fuck me. <laughs> That'd be a good episode. That'd be a good season. Chris Hansen just kitten fished. That'd be funny. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. Kid's a kid, right? Kid's a kid. You got to take what you can get. I feel like that's uh, the priest's motto. Yeah. Yeah, a kid's a kid. Yeah. Yep. That sounds right. Mm -hmm. A boy's a boy. A boy's a boy. (laughs) A hole's a hole. A hole's a hole, am I right? A hole's a hole's a hole's a hole. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Oh, wait, before we go, are we about to switch something else? Just tell me. You, oh, I, wait. Um, you heard from Bobby that he made a merch store for us? Oh, yeah. Bobby, did you make a merch store for us? Yeah, I felt really bad about the video camera stuff. Aw, oh, Bobby. Nice, Bobby. That's really nice. Um, that's Still doesn't great. figure out the camera, but oh, we've got a little merch store. We've got a little merch store. If you go to our Instagram, Sam and Rye do things. Yep. Um, there's a little link there. You can also go, I think you can go to Society6 and just search Sam and Rye do talking. Okay. All one word. Yep. It should pop up for you. Mm-hmm. But our Instagram has a little link to that. It's got some t-shirts. We got, got some got t-shirts. Clothes. We got... have a t-shirt that says uh, Sam and Rye do t-shirts. And we also have a yep. sticker of a t-shirt that says Sam and Rye do t-shirts, which is kind of funny. We got stickers of our faces. Yep. We've got lots of different stuff on Bobby's there. Bobby's got his own sticker. I think it'd be, I thought it'd be funny to maybe include some clocks. I thought Yeah, you can get funny. a clock of our kid faces. Yeah, there's cutting boards. <laughs> Yep. There's some funny, there's placemats. Oh man, our our, our moms are going to buy that like we're kids selling yeah. a bake sale. Yeah. Yeah. I hope, I hope not, I hope it's all good quality. Like, I hope it's, I hope it's good. We, oh, we, we, all, we made it ourselves. It. No, yeah. we made it ourselves. Everything, if you bo- order something, we for sure made that. Well, Bobby made it. Bobby made that. So if it's bad quality, we're going to fire him. We're going to fire him. Let Tell us, us know. If, let us know if we should Email fire him. Email us if it's bad quality. Don't and worry. We will let us know and we'll just fire, fire Bobby. Fire Bobby. Yeah. No refunds, but we'll fire him. We'll for sure fire Bobby <laughs> immediately. What? Our email, if you forgot, is you go. Sam and Rye do things at gmail.com. There it is. Or you heard Sam and Rye do things at Instagram.com. <laughs> at Instagram.com. <laughs> it's Sam and Rye do things on, on everything except for except for, except for the paired kiss. kiss. Well, that's just because this is because we're doing talking. This is the talking part. This is the talking part. One of day, the Sam and I will do videos. Maybe. Yeah, maybe we'll see. <laughs> if we get to it, Sam we'll and I are talking about planning. <laughs> Sam and I plan for forever. For forever. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had another question for you. Shoot. Were there any like funny things that you wanted to be when you grew up? Like when you were a kid, were you, what you wanted to be when you grew up? Was what, it anything silly? Anything silly that you're like, all right. Everything was pretty serious. Serious. Like Name I wanted to things. be in the army. I wanted to be a sniper. When you were a kid? Yeah. I wanted to be tough, special that's forces. That's a rough life. Uh, I wanted to be on SWAT. I want to be a ninja. A ninja. That's funny. That's kind of funny. Uh, oh, I did want to be a samurai. I thought I was. I looked into that. <laughs> I wonder if that was possible. I wonder how much that pays. I don't know. Not much. Mm. Um, they have a horrible quitting policy. Yeah. Yeah. You just gotta stab yourself in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I never really looked too. Much. I I hate work. The idea of trying to think of something. Yeah. Um, f- like funny, like a vet. Nothing like you funny. You wanted to be a vet. I wanted to be a vet pretty Guess hard. Guess what I wanted to be. A vet? An asthma doctor for horses. <laughs> <laughs> a vet specialist. Yeah. You only do asthma and I only do horses. That's a niche market. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where I got it. Oh, I think I had like a little book when I was a kid. And because I had asthma, they got me this book of a horse who also had asthma. Aww. And I'd read that book. And then I was like, I'm going to be the doctor in <laughs> horse that. that had asthma <laughs> yeah every time he started neighing he would just <laughs> yeah he'd, he'd lose the breath <laughs> 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 yeah that's what i wanted to be and i just wanted to share that 
That's fun. I thought it was an funny. Asthma horse doctor. Yeah. A horse asthma doctor. And I tell people that. What do you want to be when you grow up? An asthma doctor for horses. An asthma doctor for horses. <laughs> So silly. How's the pay with asthma horse doctors? Um, honestly, I never got to look it up. Hmm. I'm not even sure if that's a real thing. <laughs> I doubt it. But oh. if you are an asthma doctor for horses, please tell us. <laughs> please tell us. I'd Riley love, will I'd love to interview you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get the scoop. <laughs> um, you must need a big stethoscope. Why? <laughs> it's this comically big stethoscope on here. Because the, the horse heart is, is so big and the no, lungs the ho- are so Yeah, big. the horse's lungs are so big. Oh. Got to get a bigger stethoscope. Yeah. There's ones for babies. They're really little. And there's regular ones. Mm. And you get a horse one. There might actually be that. It was like a clown doctor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been watching 600 Pound Life lately. Yeah? Um, I really like that show. I had some things to share with you. Oh, go. Do you like that show? Uh, it, yeah, it scares me a little bit. And why does it, it upsets scare you? me? Uh, it scares me because I love eating and yeah. I could totally do that. You think that you could get to 600 pounds? If I needed to, I could easier. If it, you needed to, what If there was a movie that I needed to get to 600 pounds for, I feel like I could, I, I'm, you know, how people lose weight for yeah. roles. I feel like I could gain weight for roles. People gain well. weight for roles too. Not like this guy. You think you could get to 600 pounds. How long would you need, you think? Yeah, I'm breaking that record. Um, what's it? How long does it take to become Wolverine? I don't know. What are you talking that about? That amount of time. However long that took Hugh Jackman. I don't even know what you're talking about. To look like Wolverine. Oh, like to get shredded? Yeah. I don't know, but he was already skinny. Yeah, I'm already chubby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you could get to 600 pounds. I could get, I could, um, maybe not 600 pounds, but I could look like a guy that could be 600 pounds. I don't know about that. I can't. Once you hit, once you hit 350, the weight. It's smooth sailing from there. Yeah. It's like, (laughs) once you hit 350, you just, it just starts. It It becomes 600 real quick. Yeah. It becomes 600 (laughs) real quick. (laughs) You blink. It's like your, they say you're about your first million, the hardest. Your first 350 pounds Your is first the 350 is the hardest. The second one's way too quick. <laughs> I don't think that I could get to 600 pounds. Ye- yeah. I don't think I could eat that much. Oh, I love eating. I just I, don't think I could get it. Yeah. That's good. I mean, watching I, the show too yeah. is like, oh, I need to put the fork down. Mm. Yeah, I also don't like their attitudes. Oh, their attitudes are the worst. They remind me of the patients I used to have. They're so hard to talk to. But Anyone who's a 600 pound is the hardest to talk to. I love watching the show yeah. just so I can remind myself to not eat like that and not act like that. Yeah. I like to look at it from an outside lens and go, you need to. I don't think you could ever get to 600 pounds because um, I think you need to have that personality to be able to get 600 pounds. Every time I've met someone who's over four, over four hundies. Yeah. Um, or, you know, more than that. Yeah. Uh, they always have the same personality and it's exhausting talking to them. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to describe that personality? Yeah. They're me? always just, they have an excuse for everything. Yeah. They say, they're just like, well, and then they're always complaining. They're always like, but how could I? Have? Well, I don't know. And they're delusional. I delusional. Like, I'm on a diet and I'm not losing weight. And they have, yeah. they'll tell you all about the med. I went on this medication and uh, I gained 800 pounds. And I had extra salt yesterday. So the, the water, the water I'm, retention, I'm holding water and, right now. Yeah. So that's the extra hundred pounds that's on that scale. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And um, they always smell the worst. Oh, uh, yeah. They're the well, they're worst. not great at showering because no, they can't get it's up. it's so big. I'm not, yeah. yeah. <sighs> if we have any listeners at 600 pounds, stop you, listening. You're loved. <laughs> you're loved. Stop listening. <laughs> <laughs> we don't support you. You are probably a nice person if you're listening to this podcast. So Yeah, I'm sure you're great. I'm <laughs> sure you're great to talk to. <laughs> I'm sure you're really fun to talk to. It's not like talking in circles at all. Yeah, not at all. I'm sure you have a lot of fun points. There was um, one person who said the reason that she um, was gaining weight was because his diet of 1,200 calories was too much. She said, that's too many. I think that's too many calories for me, doctor. And he said, that's impossible. Right. Because 1,200 calories is like... So she was saying that she's under 1,200 calories and she's gaining weight. So she was lying. She's saying that she's eating 1,200 calories and not losing. Right. 
but there's Which no way she's only baloney. eating 1200 calories absolute baloney because 1200 is baloney. calories is starving yourself yeah that is absolutely starving. that's yourself. as baloney as the baloney sandwich you're eating lady exactly <laughs> like 1700 minimum yeah. to be like a normal human mm-hmm. and just that's probably losing weight for most people right and 1200 is an insane amount of calories like low did i tell you my brother so maybe it was a mis- misunderstanding my brother was going on a diet and he uh he, on his diet he was allowed to eat he thought he was allowed to eat as many pistachios as he wanted oh my god that's so funny he th- he thought he like read everything and he was really strict but for the pistachio like if you want a little snack you can have as many pistachios as you want is what he thought that it said is so and so funny. he was crushing pistachios and he was gaining weight pistachios are so they're the worst calories. one of the worst peanuts for you <laughs> one of the worst peanuts <laughs> <laughs> um all nuts are just really caloric one of the worst pistachios for you <laughs> <laughs> the piss ones they're the worst they're the worst yeah. um uh, and anyway so then he re- read it and he was allowed to have like he could have three in a day or yeah. something yeah yeah, usually a lot of diets will say like a handful of almonds or a handful of any kind of nut. Yeah. And it's just because they're so calorically dense that you don't want to be over overeating those. Yeah. And it's yeah, so easy pistachios, to Pistachios, they're them. like, you can lick a shell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can suck on one shell. <laughs> For the whole day. For the whole day. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, so yeah, I think fat kids would be fine. I'd be fine with fucking a fat kid. We are uh, we are <laughs> past that. <laughs> uh, there is another person on Six Hundred Pound Life that I I wrote this down. I took some notes because I thought it was really funny. Mm-hmm. Um, she got a boyfriend after one or sorry, she was with her boyfriend for one month um, when they started filming. She's like, I met this boyfriend one month ago. He is now living with me and wiping my ass. Oh, poor guy. I am... Uh, I don't want to... Okay. I'm gonna, I got to burp. <sighs> okay, man. All right. We <laughs> interrupt this podcast to uh, address... The word from our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> address an email that was requested by Shanna. Yeah, we got our first sponsor, guys. Uh, and W sponsoring the podcast. <laughs> They said they said they asked us to review their Beyond Meat burger because we said we couldn't find any good Beyond Meat vegetarian. We, I think we dissed options. it. I think we disliked it. Tim Hortons Me, and some other. I said places. Tim Hortons is good, but everyone else sucked. Yeah, and yeah. I said that I don't know if I would like it. I've never tried it though. Yeah. Okay. So we got a Beyond Meat got, burger from AW here. Yes, we do. Beyond we're Meat. Try it. Yeah, I'm beyond excited. It does have <laughs> cheese. There is cheese on it, so it's not vegan. It's not vegan. But it's it's just vegetarian. Beyond Meat. And uh, I don't know what animal they got this for. Is it elk? <laughs> is it elk? Is that what this is? <laughs> it's a vegetable. That's oh. the animal of the vegetable. Oh, okay. The vegetable yeah. animal. All right. We killed some vegetable animals. And what we... sound does a veggie make? <laughs> 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 I don't know. Oh, it makes this. Ready? Yeah, that's yeah, about that's, a sound. That's yeah. a sweet, sweet sound sweet, of sweet a veggie. Sound. So, yeah, they sent us a gift card. Uh, oh. Actually, no. Sorry. They... they no, they told us to try it. We bought it ourselves, but they they might send us a gift card. But that means that we can only go buy another A and We're already out money for A and W. Yeah. For this sponsor, and then but if we get it, anything, we'll get A and W dollars. An e transfer would be it. great. An e transfer would be great. <laughs> just just a redemption. Yeah, for we're the... work, we're working on how to make money on this podcast. But so far, A and W. And the nice thing is because we haven't exchanged any money um we're we're gonna we're not gonna we're gonna be ruthless this is a ten dollar burger this is a ten dollar burger yeah guess how many stars i'm giving it immediately zero zero stars <laughs> <laughs> for being ten dollars ten dollar burger it's the most expensive tax, thing on there yeah canadian 9.59 much u.s <laughs> A&W, I don't think it's in the U.S. Oh, it's not. No. <laughs> niche market are you ready yeah i'm ready beyond okay. meat i'm a i'm gonna bite in it she's gonna bite in it there you go. Thank you. Oh, old sloppy. Oh. Oh man. I don't know. I gotta tell you. Do you know what this would be good with? What? A side of a team burger right after this. <laughs> I'm really. This is really making me excited about the other A and W food we have. Yeah. I don't. It's okay. Go to A and W and buy a team burger. <laughs> I don't like the flavor of it. Yeah, the team burger and uh, 
Timber, uh, fries, onion rings, root beer, all good. If I if I had to eat it, like if if I was starving and that was the only thing there, sure, mm-hmm. I can get it down. It's not my thing. Not your thing. Not my thing either. It falls apart. The Beyond yeah. Meat burger is too much. The Beyond Meat. I stand by my my Tim Hortons thing. It was good as a sausage because it's good in little strips. Mm-hmm. When you put into a patty form and try to make it that big, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe A and W. Look into McDonald's. They've got a no meat Big Mac. They just Big Mac. <laughs> it's three pieces of bread with some lettuce and mayonnaise. Bun, lettuce, and Big Mac sauce. <laughs> yeah, three buns. There's lettuce on the bottom and the top. And yeah, look into that. Being Beyond Meat. If, if we'll you, try that next. If you're vegan, it's all right. I guess. Yeah, you know what? It's good for them. You can go and hang out with your friends. That's nice that they did that for you, for for those guys. It's just not for me. Mm-hmm. But you notice that there's no Beyond Meat team burger because they're no, like yeah. it's perfect. There's no Beyond Meat chubby chicken burger. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no Beyond Meat uh, chicken nuggets. There actually, I think be. they actually yeah, have uh, plant based chicken think nuggets. Go to A and W. Tell right and then write in what you have. A and W. If you could just email us your menu, it would be great. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay, anyways, we're gonna go back to the pod. Back to the regular podcasting. Or okay, and this has been a little break um, from our sponsors. Basically, Riley. Riley, I forgot my wallet. Riley was our sponsor today. <laughs> All right, enjoy the pod. Bye. Bye. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it stopped recording. It's totally stopped recording. It's, That's my bad. That's fine. Um, we're gonna reset. As, as I was saying, we've been talking for a while. <laughs> 600 pound life yeah we were talking about 600 pound life yeah what were you wanting to say let's just get into that sure um you said there was something else that you wrote down yeah i'm gonna tell you a couple stories i'll tell you the lady again okay just so they can hear it okay um i'll i'll do do i wasn't listening oh oh great (laughs) i'll do quick uh quick notes Um, recap yeah she was definitely 600 pounds for sure. For sure, 600. <laughs> For sure, six plus. Um, so she, when they started filming, boyfriend already, uh, one month in, mm-hmm. they're doing great. He's wiping her butt. Do you Fun. remember that? Oh, yeah. That sounds <laughs> awful. That sounds wiping terrible. Wiping her butt at one month in. What now? Unless you got cancer at one month in, I'm not wiping your butt. I was just going to ask, would you wipe my butt one month in? One month Depends in if you had injury or illness or something. Would like you that. really? Yeah. If you needed One month that? into dating or one month into when we met? Ugh. <laughs> I would have done it as a friend for a while to help you out. <laughs> would you really? Yeah. If you if you were like this nice lady, very, very, very pretty girl, very Aww. funny, and then something happened. <clears throat> yeah. And you, and you didn't have anybody, which I know you would. You'd have your whole family. Yeah. Yeah. In those cir- that circumstance, I'd probably help out because I'm a little cuck. Wow. That's <laughs> so nice. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty I nice. I sure am. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm not being nice. <laughs> um, wiping her about one month in. I think another month goes by. He proposes. That's too soon. Too soon. He loved it, eh? I'm, co- I'm pretty confident he was a bit autistic. Yeah. There was like definitely something going on there, which is sad that yeah. uh, it seems like he... Oh, I think they were also using like his EI check or something for food. Oh my god! Or like you know his disability check. And he whatever. wasn't like Downs a little bit. I don't think he was Downs at all. Oh, he was. I think just, he was full. Just autism. Full Aussie. Full Aussie. <laughs> Aussie or Downsy? <laughs> full Aussie. Full Aussie. Um, oh, poor guy. Yeah. So poor, he's just did he love her? His, did he what? Did he love her? Like, was he yeah. like all about her? Yeah. That I've met a lady like this, and there was a guy like that. Well, wasn't he was also not the best guy, but he loved her too. Uh, well, until okay. he called her. Actually, she was in the hospital. He called her and told her he was cheating on her, <gasps> and she went, "Fine, leave the house," because it was her house. Oh. And so I was like, "That was the coolest I've ever seen you be." But otherwise, she was the worst person. That's crazy. And whenever I, he would call me to go help her, because I'd have to lift her up. Yeah. Uh, and she was always covered. She she had like she would only sit in this one chair, and below her feet were um, the the carpet was stained from where she would leak out of her legs, and it oh, was stained. Gross. It would stain the carpets. It was so gross. 
And, That's uh, gross. But what whenever was she I was, leaking? She was leaking. Fl- she was so big. She was leaking fluid. You leak fluid like out of your skin. Like out of those lumps and Out of your stuff? skin. Oh. Like your skin is just oozing out fluid. It's really gross. That is so nasty. But whenever I was there to pick her up, he would always just be like walking over beside me and be like, I ate uh, 12 eggs today. I ate, I ate four pizzas today. Can you believe it? Like he was like <laughs> was he bragging. Big too? He was bragging. He was big. He wasn't that big. But like not big as big as her, but he was a big, he was a fat guy too. And her son's so big fat guys. And they were the worst too. It was the most Oof. fit I'd ever been. And when I walked in, they went, get someone else. You can't lift me. You're not strong. Pointed at her two like horrendously unfit fat sons. Like they're strong because they're fat. Oh my God. And then I ended up having to like lift her up almost by myself. Almost blew up my knee. A bunch of my uh, friends and colleagues ruined their backs. This lady was awful. Ew. As you were picking her up, she would start shaking around on purpose. She would shit herself on purpose. She was the worst. Oh anyway, my God. She reminds me of this lady. Boof. Yeah. This lady Anyways. sounds like the worst. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. Proposes like another month in. Um, but then they go on this road trip. Again, not a road trip. They're, they're, moving, they're her, moving her. They're moving her down to, to this, the doctor. To the doctor's city. I always forget where it is. Somewhere in Texas. Somewhere. Houston, maybe. Houston? Houston? Maybe in Houston? Um, I'm from Houston. I'm from Houston. I'm from Houston. Where Can't are you, you from? Tell? <laughs> uh, Born and raised, Houston. <laughs> Born and raised. <laughs> Can't you tell by the accent? <laughs> so they get there. They no, no they, they don't, don't get, get there. there. They don't get there. Uh, they stop partway through. She shits herself, and then the sister <laughs> that's driving them because they both can't drive yeah. gets real pissed. Um, starts yelling at her, is screaming at her the entire time, basically. And yeah. finally, they've had enough. I don't know exactly what happened to break. He, they say that she broke them up. I don't really remember exactly that part, but yeah. she, I guess she broke them up because they got a, a divorce. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> immediately. They got married? No, they just got. Oh, oh, they I, were, was just, okay, I was I just see. being dramatic. Gotcha. They ended their engagement. They ended their engagement yeah. immediately. Mm-hmm. So that's a really short stint for a relationship. Oh, to be man. wiping someone's ass, and then a month later, you're broken up. Ugh. And so where did they... So they didn't make it down? They didn't make it down. I don't know where they went. I think they went back up to wherever they lived before or something. Yeah. She <gasps> got oh, dropped I remember. off. Did you... Did she call the police on them? She called the police on them. Um, Because she's just like, they're going to steal my stuff. They're dropping me off in the middle of nowhere. I have nowhere to go. Right. So the police came. They're... The police came. Oh, I don't yeah. remember that. That's they, gross. They they came all over. <laughs> <laughs> police love fat chicks. <laughs> um, yeah, they left her basically in the middle of nowhere. She she found a friend online, like an acquaintance or something, to that was moving her family down, and so she they picked her up on the way, just, brought her down, just smelling like shit. She told her that like the story of what happened and then the friend offered her to live with them oh so i guess no. she's like living with her friend not even a friend it was an acquaintance from like high school oh my god that's how those people they can they can uh they can manipulate people into helping them out and stuff yeah yeah Crazy. that's how they become 600 pounds it takes work to become 600 pounds you have oh. to manipulate so many people yeah it's insane. It's awful. Because, like, if you're just laying in bed all day, people got to just stop bringing you food. Yeah. And so you have to really convince them. It's sort of like a really bad alcoholic when they're so they're so far gone. They're forcing their family to go out and buy yeah. them stuff because they're too wasted to go. Yeah. And their family still brings them alcohol, which is yeah. insane. Yeah. But it's just like that. But, like, if you listen to them, it's so manipulative. It's so abusive. It's awful. It's horrible. And they always, the spouse or whatever, always says, like, I bring them food because if I don't, it's just going to be hell. It's going to be worse. The house worse. is going to be yeah. hell yeah. if I don't. Yeah. Which makes sense. It's an addiction. Oh, yeah. So, like, if you don't get it... It's... Yeah, the, I've never met a, I've never met a, um, and this is just in Canada. I'm sure in the U.S. there's plenty of nice 600 pound people, <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> per capita, you know. Uh, but in Canada, at least, any 600 pound people, they are not fun to talk to or hang yeah. out with. They are, they are not bringing anything to that conversation. Do you have some? Uh, I don't know. Um, oh, mine just says worst movie. I wanted to ask you what the worst movie. Is. That you ever saw was but uh do you have something else you had another thing or no? no okay ask me ask ask me ask me a question 
Ask me a question, Ask me Vaidosha. A question. <laughs> uh, I want to know what the worst movie. We always talk about like, what's your best movie? What's your what's the least your least favorite movie you've ever seen? Least hands down favorite. worst worst movie you've ever seen, and not saying like it was so bad. It was so funny because it was so bad. Like I'm talking about like you were angry, you were you were upset. It was a waste of a movie. I got a couple. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Do you have one? Mm-hmm. Can you tell me yours? Uh, sure. Uh, the my the my least favorite movie of all time is History of Violence. Never seen it. It's with Vigo Somethingson. At the end of the movie, he's got a gun. He's got. Is get, there spoilers? N- kind of spoilers. Okay. He's got to get. A, he's got a gun. He has to get rid of. Everything's solved now, and he just has this gun that solved all those problems. And he goes to the edge of this this uh, like little beach. So not like it's not a cliff in the water. It's a gradient beach that kids would play in. He takes the gun, looks at it, and goes like, Ugh. and he just like does like a little flip, like a foot into the into the lake, <laughs> and walks away. Like that solved that. Like that that gun's never gonna be found. It was the, the worst. I could go on forever about this movie. A yeah, yeah. Bit. <laughs> just a kid playing with a gun, <laughs> and it was awful. Huh? When when did you go see that? In theaters, whenever it came out. That's the 2002. question. Oh, okay. 2000, something like that. Yeah, that's why I know it. Between 2002 and 2008. <laughs> <laughs> I was a child, so. Um, you're gonna hate this. Okay. I think everybody's going to be really mad at me. This oh, is go. very controversial. All right. I think Frozen and Frozen 2. Get out of here. Is a, are horrible, both horrible movies. And I'll give it to here. you. I'll give it to you. Frozen 1's better than Frozen 2. Frozen 2 was absolute dog shit. The, you don't know, like the songs? The songs, I was laughing the whole time with my mom. Because I was like, mom, these are your songs. You sing these songs. Like, it's like, I'm walking through the garden and I'm seeing flowers. <laughs> it's like, you're just saying what you're seeing. What? Like, that's not a song. You can't say that's a song. Right. It was. They're just kind of pointing at things that are happening. I was laughing so hard during that movie. I could not I believe. I love those movies. I could not believe how bad the second one was. The kids love those movies. First one was so boring to me. Like, I tried to watch it. I was on a plane. And I tried to watch it. I went, everyone knows this movie. Let's give it a shot. Couldn't finish it. I was like, I am crawling. Couldn't like my, finish it? My skin was crawling. I was so bored. Right. I was like, this is horrible. So I changed it. I get home. I was really sick. So I was like, Kate, hey, let's give it another shot. Oh. Couldn't watch it. I couldn't finish it. <laughs> I was like, this sucks so bad. What part did it suck at? Immediately? All of it. Immediately? Immediately. I was like, w- Frozen okay. 1? Yeah. I was the, like. The knocking, the do you want to build a snowman? Yeah. You didn't like that part? Bored. Bored? Effing bored you don't almost know me you didn't like that part don't care oh my god it was so boring Ugh. nothing was happening it felt like nothing was happening i have a question for you yeah how does it feel being so ice cold that you can't experience joyful emotions <laughs> i love disney movies i love moana mm-hmm. i think moana was a hundred times better than frozen it was really good it was really good those songs were way better the story was so good. It kept moving. It was funny. It was great. Yeah, it was pretty good. I did not understand Frozen. I didn't get it. I didn't get the hype. I finally did watch it all the way through at some point. Yeah. But I still was like, this is tough. Was Frozen 1 made for you? <laughs> at the time. At the time. <laughs> I was like, uh, I would have been like 16 or 17 when it came out. Okay. And then when they came with Frozen 2... What did you think? I was like, the whole family, we watched it in like our movie room or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, let's give it a shot. Yeah. Let's see what it, let's see what it has. Did they like it? Everybody was laughing. At, we were, how bad it was? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I remember when the trailer came out for the second one, I was so excited. Can I tell Yeesh. you what I told somebody? What? It looks like Quentin Tarantino made Frozen. <laughs> Remade Frozen. <laughs> And you said it seriously, didn't you? <laughs> I said it seriously because of the trailer. <laughs> I am speechless. <laughs> you are in, an insane person. You're insane. 
It looks I like have... Quentin Tarantino <laughs> took over and made the second Frozen. Yeah, it looked real gritty. The second one looked real. The 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 trailers. The trailer looked really gritty. They're walking through a magic misty forest. The, you didn't see the trailer. <laughs> it, was, it was just Elsa looking at a dark wave in at night, and then she starts running at it. Scouty, you're really just going nuts on our on our <laughs> podcast equipment here. You gotta settle down. Um, that is crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. Did you like the second movie? Loved it. Baloney. Loved it. I, I have I have you. the album in my car. I used to listen to it all the time. And you don't think those songs are I, bad? I almost cried at one point. Jesus, Sam. <laughs> I don't trust your movie taste anymore. There is one song that's caught me through a lot of hard times. Shut up right now. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I don't even want to hear this. When I was really sad, I'd put on this one song and I'm like, it's okay. We can do it. This is wildly disappointing. <laughs> We've gotten this far, yep. and I just found out that you are obsessed well, with Frozen 2, the worst movie that's been ever It's the last created. podcast, guys. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Whoops. Oopsies. That's tough. Whoopsie daisies. That's a tough opinion. That's a tough opinion. To stand by. Quentin Tarantino's Frozen. Yeah. Even after I watched it, I was like, oh, Quentin did a good job. He did a great job. It starts off so light and free, and they make jokes about how nothing's ever going to go wrong. It's so funny because they, they foreshadow, of course, something bad's going to happen. Oh, God. It's a great movie. That's just... And I love so An- I love Anna so much. She's the coolest. She might all be my, right. favorite, my favorite princess. All right. Take it easy. I think she's my favorite princess. All right. Take it easy. She did all that stuff without any superpowers. And? Unbelievable. Whatever. Such a powerful woman. I hate Elsa. Elsa's the Ross of of all princesses. All right. Friends, Ross. Yeah. I hate Elsa. She's a big whiny little lady. I no, my family's dead. I was like, yeah, mine too. And I don't have frozen powers. <laughs> and I'm gonna go fight a rock monster. Honestly, who cares? This guy. <laughs> who cares? <laughs> It bothers me. My kids used to love Frozen, and now all they like to watch is it's this is awful. They call it Elsia and Anya, oh. and it's uh, these YouTube dolls. Like it's 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 this YouTube person, and they just play with dolls, and they have like little Frozen characters, big Frozen characters, big baby Frozen characters, and there's like the little ones are called Elsia and Anya. They're the kids of Elsa and Anna, and then there's the grandparents are Elsa and Anna, but they're just like a bigger doll. And it's so annoying. <laughs> they talk like this the whole time. They got like a weird accent. Ish. So they also they want to watch. I want to watch Elsie and Anya. And I then Paisley. Making f- bank. Yeah, she finally got out of it. And then the little one started wanting to watch it. I was like, ugh. Oh, no. They are making bank. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. On every episode. It's like immediately comes out. There's like 3 million views. Jeez. Go, look out, Mr. Beast. Kids YouTube is crazy. Kids YouTube's insane. We got they got a lot of laws and stuff cracking down on that stuff. Now. Yeah. Like, you can't comment even. Really? Yeah, they took away comments. Crazy. On kids' videos. Like, that's going to get rid of the pervs. Yeah, that's going to get rid of them. They're just not going to comment. Yeah. They're still looking. Yeah. They're still peeking. They're still peeking. Gross. They're snooping. They're snooping. They're yeah. scoping it out. They're not there for the comments. No. Nope. nope. They would have commented if you would let them, but hey, <laughs> can't comment? I'm still going to peek. Still peeking. Still peeking. Mm-hmm. Got an email. <laughs> Anyways, that's my least favorite movie. Okay. I hate it. All right. Good to know. Uh, don't tell my kids. <laughs> Actually, Paisley hates that movie now. It used to be her favorite. Right. Now she's like, can we stop watching this thing? Yeah. She I'm kind of there it. too. Yeah. She also said that Blue makes her sad, which pff, she yep. gets it. She gets it. Blue makes her sad. Yeah. Frozen yep. and Blue. She mm-hmm. knows me. <laughs> it's my soul sister right there. Yep. <laughs> yep. Blue's the worst color too. And that's that may be also why I hated Frozen so much. Blue is over is an overrated color. It's so overrated. I like blue. Every single person on the face of the planet. What's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Shut, Shut up. Shut up. Bobby, what's no. your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Yeah, exactly. Fuck you, Bobby. That's what I thought. Yeah. Fucking stupid. Yeah. It's like whatever lame person would think a favorite yeah. color would be. Yeah. yeah. It's just like 
I have no personality. My favorite color is blue. Oh, this is me. I'm, I love blue. I love blue. And my favorite number is probably 13 because I have no personality. <laughs> Or my favorite number is my birthday because I, love I have Bug no Weiser. personality. <laughs> <laughs> my birthday. Oh shit! My favorite number was my birthday. That's so funny. And your favorite color was probably blue at one point. At one point, yeah, yeah for exactly. sure it was. Ugh. And then you developed a personality. So glad. Now I developed what's your a favorite person. number? Uh, I don't really have a favorite number. Pick one. I have a favorite times table. You're weird. Yeah, seven times eight, fifty-six. You're weird. That's my favorite. Five, six, seven, eight. Is that why? Part of it. It's part of it. <laughs> Do you want to tell us the other part? <laughs> or are you just going to leave it at that? That's part of it. The other part's for me. <laughs> no, it's what my brother would always make me say that to his friends because he's a lot older than me. He taught mm. me to do that one. And so that was, he, that was like his party trick. But favorite became, times table. Hmm, what's, what's your favorite mine? times table? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Seven You're, times seven. Seven times seven? 49? Yeah. yeah. Why? I don't know. It feels nice. Feels nice? Feels nice to the tongue. Yeah. Feels nice to say. Feels nice to think about. Mm-hmm. 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 What else? What else? What else? What else is... can you tell me about your favorite times table? <laughs> you don't have a favorite number at all. You can't even pick one. I have a few. Okay. We're giving a lot of personal information on this podcast. You have to yeah, watch we got to cut all that out. <laughs> to watch your banking. <laughs> watch your banking. <laughs> Yeah, my my bank password is 14, 14, 14, 14. 14, 14. 14. <laughs> it's 14, 14 times. <laughs> it's dad had cancer at 14 at gmail.com. <laughs> Long email. Yep, it's a password. Oh. That's my password. Oh, that's your password at gmail.com. <laughs> For my email. I thought my password had to have the at, at gmail.com. gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> so all my passwords have that. <laughs> And it's so I remember my email better. Yeah. Because my email matches my password. <laughs> remember your email better. That's funny. <laughs> password what kind, of, at what kind of cancer did your dad have at 14? Um, I don't remember. Was it pituitary? Because he's a big boy. What does pituitary mean? Does it make you grow? Affect your growth? Oh. He's a big boy. Yeah, I don't think it affected anything. Um... I don't remember. There, what are the two that one's really bad and one's not so bad? Uh, Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. The not so bad one, I think. The he not had. so bad lim- Hodgkin's lymphoma. Yeah. Whoa, that's that's scary. I think that's what he had. He found like a little ball in his arm one day. Oh man. And then went to the doctor, and they're like, "Yeah." Oh, that'd be so sad. You're I can't. Dead. You I'm got so, you got one day to live. That would be so. They said one day <laughs> to live. <laughs> <laughs> Miracle baby. And he's still here today. Wow. Yeah. He hasn't awful. had cancer since, though. That's great. That's good news. That's good news. That's, That's good news. news. Yeah. Good, good news. That's good news. That's great news. <laughs> this podcast going off the rails. I don't think anyone's listening anymore. Yeah. Yeah, they tapped. Bobby's sleeping. Bobby's not even... Pick- Bobby. Bobby. You're not even trying to figure out Bobby. the camera. He's sleeping. Oh, my gosh. He's sleeping. I can hear him snoring a little bit. Yeah. Bobby. You're really messing up the sound here, Bobs. <laughs> this guy's so loud. What a weirdo. What a weirdo. Fix your sinuses. All right, what are we talking about today? <laughs> <laughs> How long are we in? Uh, I think we're pretty good. Half uh, hour? Yeah, we're about a half hour again. We we got cut off about a half hour, and now another half hour, and then... Uh, to figure out how to put that in it might be a little shorter today but uh, i gotta do some stuff yeah okay yeah uh what do you want to how do you want to end this um this has been sum and rue sum and rue do token <laughs> samurai this has been do talking with samurai i'm sam she's right and that's that's bobby behind the camera and he's sleeping and w- and we're and we and we're, we're done, done talking. talking. <laughs> we did it. We did it perfectly. That was really good. That was really good. Save that one. High five. Save that well, one for future podcast. And then we can just <laughs> so reuse we never this. have, we never to, have to do this again. Yeah. We just so good. Exactly. All right. All right. Bye. Okay. Love you. Love you too. <laughs>